So, we move forward to Manchester United on Saturday evening at the Emirates. The same Emirates that we've won all seven of our Premier League games at this season. Now, I don't expect that to change against Man United on Saturday. I fully expect us to absolutely destroy them. Now, a lot of people are going to be going, oh, Lee, you're going over the top. It was only Huddersfield that you won against, blah, blah, blah. Now, I'm going to explain why I think we're going to absolutely annihilate Man United. Man United are going to come. They're going to park the bus, the standard Jose Mourinho tactics. They're going to sit back with their two banks of four or five, whatever it is, with their one up front. And they're just going to try and ping us on the break with uh, Lukaku. Um, they'll probably play Martial. Rashford probably won't get a look in, in this game. Um, so they're going to play for Laney and they're going to try and bully us in midfield and try and get a quick counter and score a goal. Now, that's all well and good. But if they're playing Lindelof and they're playing, say, I don't know, um, Phil Jones at centre-back, they're not the most mobile of players. Lindelof, from what I've seen, don't really look all that. Um, they could also go with Rojo. Again, another player I don't rate at all. Now, I'm looking at it thinking, as soon as we get a goal, they're fucked. They will have to come out. And if you come out against us, then we'll ping you on the break. Um, now, I'm not going to get too carried away. Man United are a good team. They've got some fantastic players. I rate Pogba. I rate Martial. And they've got a great manager. Let's be real. He's won absolutely everything you can win in the game. So, I'm not going to get too carried away, but the only two players that do scare me and do worry me are Martial and Pogba. Um, it depends who he partners next to Pogba. I'm imagining it'll probably be Fellaini because Matic went off with an injury. Not sure whether he's going to be starting the game. But I think that if we take the game to United, game manage this very well, instead of just going gung-ho and trying to blitz them, but at the same time, put in the same intensity, the same high press, the same work rate and desire as we put in against Tottenham, I fully expect us to walk this two or three. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to get into my 1-11 to for this game. I am going with Petr Cech in goal. Um, he nearly punched one in against Huddersfield. Not quite sure what he was doing, but he did make a very good save in that game. And he has been better of late. Um, Hector Bellerin at right back or right wing back, should I say, and Kalasanak at left wing back. Both of them have looked solid recently, so yeah, I'm going with both of them. My defence for this game is Koscielny, Monreal and Mustafi. Um, Mustafi, I don't know what he was on in the last two games, or three games really, he's been absolutely brilliant, so long may that continue. Um, Koscielny worries me slightly, the fact that this will be his third game in six days. He has got an Achilles problem. And against Huddersfield, he did jump in a few times when there was no need to jump in. You cannot afford to do that against the likes of Martial and Lukaku because they were fully milk it and probably end up giving a penalty away. Um, now on to midfield. I'm going to go with Granit Xhaka. Um, I thought he was average against Huddersfield. His passing range was nowhere near. Um, he kept losing the ball. And some of the slide tackles he was doing, I was just like, geez, what are you doing? So I'm going to give him another shot in this game. And I hope that he steps up and plays as well as he did, like he did against Spurs. Um, next to him, Aaron Ramsey. Aaron Ramsey has been brilliant this season. He has been brilliant, let's be real. Um, he's created a lot of goal chances. And he's scoring goals as well. His performance against Huddersfield was nothing short of brilliant. But... This is Man United. Let's see if he can do it in this game. Um, so, on to the two behind the striker. This is where I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Obviously, Lacazette's out injured. If he's got a groin strain. So, I am going to go with Danny Welbeck and Mesut Ozil behind the main man, Alexi Sanchez. That is my 1-11 to for the game. I think that with... The big lumps that they're going to throw in centre-back positions, I think Alexis Sanchez can twist them inside out. 
at the pace of Danny Welbeck and the power of Welbeck, with the trickery, the vision, and the passing accuracy of Mesut Ozil, I can't see any way how we do not score goals against that team. Now, my score prediction for this game. I am going for Arsenal 3, Man United 1. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe, like, share. And follow my Instagram, LeeGunner82, and my Twitter, LeeGunner82. I'm out of here. Laters, peeps.